AMD stock is set to never be the same after this groundbreaking partnership deal with OpenAI. OpenAI is committing to deploy six gigawatts of AMD's GPUs and AMD's revenue is going to soar. This is going to push the stock price for AMD over $300 and beyond. So in this video, I'm going to detail exactly why this deal changes everything, the price targets that I have for AMD, and exactly how I'm trading it live on the platform. And make sure you go ahead and like this video down below. It really helps out the channel. And uh, we'll jump into it now. So exactly why does AMD's deal with OpenAI change everything? Well, here's why. AMD's partnership with OpenAI marks a structural shift in AI computing. OpenAI will deploy six gigawatts of AMD Instinct GPUs starting in late 2026, powering next-gen AI infrastructure and chat GPT models. This massive build-out not only drives tens of billions of dollars in AMD revenue, but it also significantly increases AMD's AI market share, challenging NVIDIA. With OpenAI potentially acquiring a 10% stake in AMD through warrants tied to deployment and stock milestones, the deal aligns interest and signals durable upside for AMD's compute business and stock valuation. AMD gains exposure to billions of AI users via OpenAI while benefiting from cost and power efficiency advantages over NVIDIA chips. This positions AMD as a key beneficiary in rapidly expanding the AI data center market and sets the stage for sustained growth and shareholder value. So where are the analysts targeting AMD's stock price to be a year from now? Well, analysts have raised AMD's price targets significantly after the OpenAI partnership. The immediate one-year target is $232, reflecting ongoing expansion and acceleration of AI infrastructure. Over two to three years, $500 plus is definitely possible if the AI adoption and geographic reach continue to grow, which I think it will. This repricing is supported by AMD's validated tech leadership, their scaled partnerships, and equity alignment with OpenAI. There's a consensus indicating a durable higher valuation for sustained AI growth and market share gains for everybody in the sector. So what's the bull case for AMD's stock price to rise to $300 and above? AMD's strategic partnership with OpenAI is just the beginning. Major tech players like Amazon, Meta, Google, and Tesla are poised to follow, driving exponential revenue and margin growth as AI infrastructure demand surges. OpenAI's warrant for up to 160 million AMD shares aligns shareholder interest, providing a powerful incentive for AMD to deliver and grow alongside its largest AI customer. Momentum from this deal is expected to push AMD past NVIDIA as the AI sector's growth leader not revenue leader, growth leader. With multiple analysts projecting AMD to capture increasing market share in this rapidly expanding GPU market. Before I jump into the live trades that I have on right now, let's ask ourselves, is this AI tech boom a bubble? Are we in a bubble? Unlike the dot-com bubble, Today's AI leaders have strong balance sheets and real scalable growth drivers. OpenAI's recent $500 billion private valuation highlights the immense scale of this new market, while AMD's revenue gains from key AI partnerships underpin its elevated market value. Historically, tech giants like Facebook, Amazon, and Meta started with lofty valuations and grew into them as their businesses expanded. AMD and OpenAI are positioned to follow a similar path with tangible adoption and revenue growth supporting their premium valuations despite some sector-wide speculation. All right, guys, before we jump into the live trades that I have on right now, I want to show you a uh, press release from AMD. It's on their website. Uh, and you can see AMD and OpenAI announced strategic partnership to deploy six gigawatts of AMD GPUs. Now, I've highlighted the key points here across multiple generations of AMD GPUs. So multiple generations. So what does that mean? It's not just the current uh, MI350 and 
MI400 that have been announced, it's going to go on to the next generation. So that's recurring business that's going to happen year after year with the number one uh, AI uh, partner. So they're utilizing uh, tons of GPUs, and that's going to be guaranteed business for AMD going forward. Now, as part of the agreement, AMD has issued OpenAI a warrant for 160 million shares of AMD common stock. So the deal with this is that makes it in OpenAI's best interest to go ahead and make sure that they purchase those GPUs for the build-outs and to make sure that AMD's stock price increases. So uh, OpenAI owns part of AMD with these stock uh, warrants and it's in their best interest for the stock price to go up. So they're gonna make sure that happens. And then lastly, uh, our partnership with OpenAI is expected to deliver tens of billions of dollars in revenue for AMD. So not only uh, over a number of years, but uh, OpenAI is one customer. There's also Facebook, Meta, Google, Tesla, other customers that AMD works with. And what's going to happen with them? They're going to want to get in on AMD's uh, chips and GPUs as well uh, because they see the number one guy, OpenAI, doing it. They want to get on board. They're less expensive than NVIDIA's. So this is going to push their growth uh, faster than NVIDIA's. And even though NVIDIA's revenue is going to be much bigger, uh, AMD is going to grow much faster at this point. Okay, guys, uh, this is my uh, three-year price projection calculator. If you'd like to get a copy of this, go ahead and comment down below, price calculator, and I'll send that to you uh, with a link. But here's AMD over the next three years based on Yahoo uh, numbers. So uh, I don't agree with this, but uh, or I, I make some adjustments. So here's where these numbers come from though. If you go to AMD, the statistics, uh, you punch in AMD and you go to the statistics page, you can look at their uh, income statement numbers, 29.6 billion right here, uh, and then their net income, uh, 2.73, I plug that in right here, shares outstanding, 1.62 right here, and then I've got a growth rate of 45 and 55, uh, I think that's conservative for AMD right now. And I've got a PE of 75 is, is where it should be. It should be priced much higher than 28 where it is right now. But that would uh, move the numbers up. Uh, and also, the revenue numbers and net income numbers, those are, are not, I don't agree with those. They are what they are. Uh, those are the tra trailing 12-month numbers. But what we need to do, here's the real numbers that I have. I've got $33 billion. Uh, trailing 12 month and net income of 5 billion. And then the other numbers are the same. But this accounts for adjustments and normalizations, uh, adjusted net income and revenue figures for non recurring expenses. Uh, so they did have a big loss that MI 308 was curtailed the shipments uh, from the administration until we worked out a deal with China. They've since have been dropped, so that's not going to be there. Um, so data aggregators like Yahoo Finance that present official data without adjustments. So this has the adjustments. So you can see my numbers are 358, so above where it is right now by quite a bit uh, for year one, and then two years out, over 500, 556, and then year three, 862. So let's jump on the uh, platform here. I'm utilizing uh, Tasty Trade. There's a link down below. Check it out. If you go through my link, there's some benefits. It's my favorite for trading options. All right, so here you go, AMD right here. I have two poor man's covered calls on. What's a poor man covers? What's a poor man's covered call? It's a deep in the money leaps option, and then I sell a short term call against it. AMD's trading at 233 today. It's been up the last two days, big, uh, down 1% today. So if you don't have any position on right now, then uh, it's probably still a good time based on those numbers that I just went through to uh, put one on, in my opinion. But you do your own research, do what you want to do. But you can see how we've done just in the last 30 days on AMD, 22 grand. So AMD has done, uh, it's been very good to us uh, uh, recently. So. 
I'm not going to, I actually sold some of my positions uh, and took the profit. I'm waiting, you know, I don't know if there's going to be a pullback. I still think it's higher, uh, going higher. But if there is a pullback, then I can deploy some more cash and get some more AMD. But at this point with AMD just taking that big jump, I want to be in the position where I can buy more if there's a pullback. And I don't want to be too overweighted in AMD because of the big price jump. So if I were to put on a trade right now, here's what I would do. I, I would do the poor man's cover call. I would go out to September. So I like to go about a year out. I would open up here the September 2026 chain. I would probably go right uh, about, uh, you can go 220, 230. I like the 65 delta. So I'd go 220, calls are on the left, puts are on the right. So we would click on the buy, the ask right here for the 220. It costs $58.40, 5835 uh, to buy 100 shares of stock, it would cost 20, $233. $233 times 100 is 23 grand, 23,310 bucks. Versus now we're going to pay 58.35, which is 5,835 dollars. So um, less than uh, it's about 20 percent, uh, 20 25 percent uh, to to control the same 100 shares of stock. Now, if we were to do that. And then we go to curve mode here. I love this on the platform. And then analysis, you can see right here, as the stock price increases, just like owning the shares, our, the value of our option increases as well. But here's the beauty. Um, it, you lose less on the downside. So if there is a pullback, this is the most that we're buying this. So we're not selling it. So with everybody thinks options are risky, they're less risky. If, the, if you bought the 100 shares, and it pulled back significantly, you could lose half the price, the value. So uh, on 23 grand, you could lose, uh, you know, 11, 10, 11 grand versus the most you can lose here is 58 if it went to zero, which is not ever uh, anytime soon going to do. Um, but it may be cut in half. You may lose a couple thousand on the downside, but you know what? You're going to make more. Uh, your, your short calls that I'm going to show you right now are going to be profitable. And as it moves up slowly over time, we make money on both sides. When it moves down, we make money on the call side. And when it moves up, we make money on the call side as well, the leaps option versus the short call. So we're going to go now to uh, November and open that up 43 days. I like to go 30 to 45 days to expiration. And then what's beautiful about AMD is you can sell, you can get some hefty premium for selling calls against your leaps. So just like owning 100 shares with a traditional covered call, you're doing it with leaps options. So we can go all the way out here to the 280, uh, and that's probably where I would go since it's it's moving so much lately. You can go 280 or 270. I'd go one of those, but 280 we can collect seven dollars and ninety cents. So that's seven hundred ninety dollars, almost eight hundred bucks. So this 5820 would come down to five thousand. Um, so. Uh, or you could, if you want to pay it off quicker, if you, if you think there's been a, uh, it's going to pull back, go 270, you can collect almost a thousand. So 975, that'll bring the price down by a thousand bucks. Watch this 58, 10, 40, 4,800 bucks. All right. So we would just uh, go over here, hit review and send. I've already got two on, so I'm not doing it, but you can place that trade for five grand and you can collect a thousand a month. So in less than six months, you control this for free, basically a hundred shares of AMD. And, uh, you can make that income on the, you can do the same thing over and over again. That's what I do. And that's how we made 22 grand recently. It doesn't happen all in one month like this, but, uh, over time, this can be very profitable as long as the the stock price continues to gradually move up over time. And we just saw the valuations and why I think it's going to 300 and above uh, in that time period. All right, guys, let me know in the comments below. When do you think AMD is going to hit $300? All right. Well, they've got their partnership with OpenAI now, uh, Amazon, Meta, and Tesla as well. They're, they're going to be there soon. So let me know when. Do you think it's this year or next year? All right. Remember to like and subscribe down below. Uh, check out the free options workshop. There's a link below. If you're new to options or you just want to level up your gain, 
uh, go ahead and check that out. And if you really want to level up your game, there's a paid course, uh, very attractively priced. I think one of the least expensive on the market. One trade will make up uh, the price, the cost for the course. If you do get that, make sure to comment. Let me know any feedback on that. I really appreciate it. And if you like this video, watch this next one.